real careful now. This one seems to be quick and fast. All right, now. It's slowly spraying. And pants. Easy. Easy. Boom goes dynamite! Oh my god, what the... What the... What the f*** are you doing? Get your damn hands off of me! So, ma'am, these young men called us for our services. We're just doing our job. You see there? At Bitch Be Gone, we're helping the single bang fight the good fight against the unwanted. So the next time you fall victim to the advances of a mangy mess of a woman, you know who to call. And remember, that bitch be gone animal control. Don't be mad. We're just doing our job. You're listening to the Cranial Emissions Show with Ben Charles, Miguel Hito, and Caleb Crispy. These boys, they're okay. Uh, welcome back to the Cranial Mission Show, folks. The penultimate segment of the program. Ben Charles Miguel Hito, the C squared himself, Caleb Crispy, here before you live from ESB Brewing, a reunion. We are back after five, six weeks of not being here. We're back here in Tampa, Florida, at a place that's located at 333 North Falkenberg Road, Sweet D. Sweet D. 407. Come on up if you're thirsty. Get one of four different beers to choose from from behind the bar. Go and see the naughty Nicole. I'll pour you a pint of one of ESB's finest. And if you want to call in, you can do so if you care to opine at a number that is 813-438-6068. The kids love it when you say it too, Ben. But you know what? We are reunited in this. <coughs> Nia Tell. Fee is so good. You gotta you gotta wipe Thank yourself you. off there, Nia Tell. Yeah. Anyway, the, the missing the missing <laughs> Russian member of the Russian five. I uh, can't believe we did not remember Igor. Igor Laryanov, the Damn great it. number eight. So Igor run Larianov. down the list again. You got Sergei Fedorov, Igor uh, Laryanov, Konstantinov, and Fedosov on the defensive pairing, and right. then Slava Kozlov. Slava Kozlov and Igor. The five Ovs of the Russian five, the nineteen nineties. They were a great Great line for the Detroit Red Wings. And Much now success for backstabbing them. traders. Yes, well, apparently Fedosov is. Yes. Yeah, fucking. Yeah. Oh, you can call Fedosov a backstabbing trader, but don't say that about Konstantinov because he broke his back. Oh, he's paralyzed for good. But anyways, that's speaking of backstabbers, uh, you know, a segment that <laughs> I've entitled the Wild Animal segment. Let's get into <laughs> Little Kim. I love you put her in the wild animal segment. Oh, man, do I have it up? Do no, I have I'm not up? talking about Little Kim the rapper. I'm talking about Little Kim. She might as well have been in there. From North Korea. Oh, oh she's North Korea. <coughs> Riddle Kim is in the news again. Kim Jong-un. Un, 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 un. Because the terrapin farm, you, you're familiar with what a terrapin is, right? Yeah. It's, a, it's like a turtle. It's a Big tur- turtle. It's a swimming turtle. Big turtle. Um, uh, Maryland. Yeah, uh, has the, the Terrapin, Terrapin Brewery from yeah. uh, the Great Atlanta, Georgia, which has one of my favorite beers, by the way, of all time, the Pineapple Express, which is a mm. smoked pineapple hella, and the great uh, GMB squared Robert Hunt, uh, the master, the head brewer here at uh, ESB Brewing, is headed up uh, on a beer vac- uh, like a beercation right beer-cation. now. So he's going to try to pick me up if they do have the Pineapple Express. If not, I'm going to go ahead and make my own Pineapple Express because I know how to do it now. So anyway, do it. Do it. so this. Supreme Leader, of course, i got to call him that because he's a big douchebag. Mm-hmm. Uh, Porky Pig with pants on is what I like to call him. He's furious <laughs> with terrapin farmers for the incompetence and failure to breed, l- <laughs> to, to breed lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> terrapin, okay. which is a freshwater animal. Okay, because I, I don't you, you cow farmers are doing a <laughs> horrible job raising. He, he, he raising expressed his su- supreme displeasure uh, with the Tay Dong Gang Terrapin Farm for being out of date and worse, not revolutionary enough. During and the tenth, worse, during, that's a horrible name. <laughs> during the tenth visit, reported by the official newspaper, oh. the official newspaper, of course, you know, there's a newspaper, uh, the Rondong Sin Sin Moon. Is the, the newspaper. He was particularly angry at a two year old lobster breeding project that never got off the ground. Called it a manis- manifestation of incompetence, outmodeled way, uh, an outmodeled way of thinking and irresponsible work style. So he was mad, mad, mad at the Terrapin farm for not breeding lobsters. 
Oh, that's what rich. An idiot. That is rich. <laughs> now, is he going to have them exterminated? Is my next question. I mean, God knows he killed several family members when he voiced his displeasure. I don't know, but his dad visited the farm uh, shortly before he died in 2011. According, oh my God. I don't and know. there it goes. There goes the connection <laughs> for Mickey. <laughs> no, I don't know it was a connection. I don't know what that was, dude, to tell you the truth. I think it was a connection. I think it just, uh, I might have backed out of that on accident. Sounds like operator error instead of technical. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hold on now. I'm going to jump. I, I bet you any money I bring up this thing here. And and there's a potato that looks like I, a duck. I bet you any money you click on it, it's going to pull up chatter bait. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, I use the incognito tab. You know what happens when you close that. It doesn't go open back up. Watch your feet there, B, on my oh, microphone. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, that's Trying to stretch out a little bit. The cramped quarters here at ESP. But anyway, moving on from little Kim to another Korean that decided to teach people a serious, serious lesson. And we'll call this one little you. Uh, Mr. <laughs> you, a South Korean teacher, is facing child abuse charges <coughs> after allegedly eating a live hamster in front of his students. A regidry. A regidry. Yeah, apparently they were uh, teasing the hamster. And he said, you know, they, I guess the hamsters were dying because they were teasing them and just being really mean to the animals. So he wanted to show them how precious life was. So he popped a hamster in his mouth, chewed it up, and ate it. Gee, Live Ozzy hamster. Osborne did. Yeah. Wow. I, uh, I can't. Now, see, here, here's, the, here's an example of the differences between hamster culture in Korea and hamster <laughs> culture in the States. No, you in know, Japan. In, in Korea... You know, they tease the hamster, but in Hollywood, the hamster teases Richard Gere. <laughs> <laughs> Richard you know, Gere's prostate. My name is Richard Gere. I shaved down a hamster, as I say in Korea. They took its teeth out. A regid ring. I lubed it up, and I stuffed it up my anus. A regid ring. <laughs> <laughs> Was the hamster an officer or a gentleman? <laughs> <laughs> and was it black oh. like Louis Johnson Gossett Jr. Who was in the great? He was in uh, was Iron it? Eagle. He was in Iron Eagle one two. Chappy. Chappy one two three. Speaking of Chappy, uh, the vertically superior Jamie. We want to shout out to that guy. I love him. He works at the. Uh, how did the, how did the great? <laughs> <laughs> because his nickname is Chappy. Oh, well, you, <laughs> you might want to fill everyone is, in on that. How first. is the vertically superior Jamie nicknamed after a bald black guy from an Air Force? Because he's got oh. one nut. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm wow. sure Jamie appreciates you letting everybody know that. Ah, he tells me, too. It's all good. He calls himself Chappie. He's got a wooden one. Anyways. Clearly, he's not a thoroughbred. <laughs> did, you know, did you know that in Japan, they have calendars of just hamster butts? No, but I'm not surprised. They literally take hamsters and then show you their little cute ass, and they make calendars out of it. Hamster butts. Why, why do you know this? Because, dude, I... Do I not bring the greatest of Asian stories? What's what country you want? I'll bring you a story from it. You are obsessed with odd news from Asia. You know that, right? Yeah, but we got to have it because we have uh, last week. Japan listeners were fifty eight percent over the United States wow. forty five percent. Just Holy to let you know, cow. so Origato, uh, which is probably Roboto. it's probably a bunch of soldiers on a, on a on a base listening to our show. Thank you very much Listen, for your service, we, we guys. We really appreciate the fact that you guys are kamikaze our ratings. I mean, thank you, seriously. <laughs> uh, uh, write your family members' names on your forehead before you hit the planes. But listen, guys, <laughs> <laughs> I take that back very much so. Um, you know, we, what, what we wanted to say to you guys is if you could, like, literally drop us an email at the cranial emission show at gmail.com or drop us a Facebook, say hi, drop us a message on Twitter at cranial e. Tell us where you're listening from. We really want to kind of – the demographics only show us countries. We want to know where you're listening from. So really hit us up. Say hi. And if you could see me, I'm pumping my fist because I'm really passionate about this. And I'm about to choke. I swear to God. You do us a serious dishonor <laughs> by not messaging us. Yeah, if you don't message us, hurry carry yourself. I mean, what we're asking for is – a bukkake of messaging. <laughs> oh, that is. I'm messy. just trying to put it to you know put it in terms that the Japanese understand. <laughs> well, TampaBukkake.com is a great website, along with Chatterbait. <laughs> a potato looks like a duck. <laughs> it's back. Anyway, we were talking about the fact that you know if you're missing one nut, and your name's Chappy, then you might not be a thoroughbred. Yeah, but speaking of news, thoroughbreds, this is uh, this is one's for our, uh, a good friend. Uh, Stacy Cheese, Lord Cheese. This one is from Portsmouth, England. Portsmouth. 
Portsmouth. Not mouth. It's mouth. Jesus. It's spelled mouth. Barbarian. Right. Barbarian. Spelled mouth. Shut the You're freak up. You're a barbarian. <laughs> so. <laughs> Patrick Stewart. Apparently, the, a dash cam <laughs> caught six wild horses running down the highway. The A3, which uh, I think is basically like an interstate, <laughs> just trucking down the highway. There's six wild of them. Wild horses. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there, uh, there's a dash cam. I think it was on a police car. Caught him, and they're they're running the opposite way in traffic. So you know, well they're driving on the opposite side of the road. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're running. Uh, they're just running down the road. There, six of them. They escaped from a, uh, from a farm. <laughs> break a break a one niner. We have to send that to Bobby for a, a, a horse that's allegedly oh, known as, as Choco. We believe Choco! that Choco is on the loose. Choco, Choco. We've got a caller Barry. coming in. They're, they're the Arigato for calling the Crane Elimination Show. Hey. Yes, whoever is calling, uh, make sure you turn the radio down in the background because we're getting feedback on the delay. Even though we love to hear ourselves. Yeah, could you turn Actually, the, just leave it on. Let's listen. Could you turn the radio shh, down shh, in the back, shh, on the background, please? Uh, I could not. There you go. There is, you this, go. is this Lord Cheese? It, it, it is. I heard my name, so I felt compelled to call. <laughs> Choco! <laughs> How's Chomsford doing? Actually, how very, are you? Very good. He's very good. I'm sorry. He's how are you doing drink, first, sir? <laughs> how are you doing first? Well, well, That's most important. I'm doing. I'm doing very well. And, and by the way, it's Portsmouth, not mouth. That's what I said. Yeah, I got corrected on that one. I'm sorry that you guys spell things in a really <laughs> weird way, like Worcester. Apparently, it's Worcestershire, I mean, but it's Wor- Worcester. You know, let's just skip the uh, entire uh, half of the word. Oh, barbarians. And the and the A3 is quite obviously not an interstate. It's an A road. Thank you. Explain to <laughs> Stacy. Explain <laughs> to the domestics, to the colonials here, what an A road is. For the barbarians, uh, an A road would be a normal main road, so like sixty that connects two towns. So like a state road, if you will. It, yes. Okay. Now I have to ask you this: Did you hear the story we were just talking about with the wild horses? I, I only caught a piece of it because then some Nazi made me turn my radio down. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm concerned because we were looking out for you because apparently there's some wild horses that are running amok. And one of them, you know, one of them might be your former show pony, Stacy. Oh. Uh, very humorous. You're very never going to live that one down. You know that, right? Yes, yes, I do. I, I, I'm aware of the uh, bashing that I will receive. Now, I happened to be talking the other day to our, our mutual dear friend, the great Mike Ortiz. And he, yes. he said I bet to you me, won't. Like tacos and burritos. He said to me, he said, I bet he combs the shit out of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> and he would be he would be accurate, though I believe it's called grooming, not combing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know Mike Ortiz is only about three hands high, so it's all good. <laughs> three hands. <laughs> Now, Stace, I'm glad that you called. Your timing couldn't be more perfect because, you know, look, uh, we, we were on one topic that happened uh, it, to occur. It's, it's Lord, by the way. Well, when it is you, Lord when you, when, you, when, you, when you talk to him, you have to say Lord Stacy. Uh, I, well, Lord Cheese. Lord Cheese, forgive me, yes, sir. You address him by his surname because to address him by his primary name would be very disrespectful. You know, Stacy, you know, I, 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 am, I, I am used to dealing with uh, barbarians. I am one myself, and I, I have learned to work with such royalty, sir. It, it, it's excellent that you guys understand the feudal sister. It saves me experience. <laughs> I, I believe he's kissing your ass, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> and what a nice thing to do that would be. I can actually watch it only earlier. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've got to bring this up to you. Your timing couldn't be more impeccable, because... Peter, you know, uh, the, English, English gentlemen always arrive at the right time. I'm afraid. Yeah, of yeah, you guys always arrive. You know, you, you're you're very detailed when it comes to your schedule. But uh, <laughs> but PETA in the news, you know, the animal rights group PETA, you know, the, the, the windbags that need to have a cause to justify their ridiculous amount of funding. Well, apparently well, we're not trying to do a radio do. show live here while our uh, significant oh, others are playing Jenga face. in the middle of the room. Just like a barbarian, Stacey, to interrupt your, your lordness uh, while you're talking. But PETA in the news, <laughs> PETA in the news, Shut Stacey, up, because geez. they have now decided, PETA, the people for the ethical treatment of animals, are calling for Britain's oldest pub, known as 
Ye old fighting cocks in St. Albans, Hertfordshire. The changes name. They claim that the name Ye old fighting cocks. Ooh, sweet deep.